hello everyone and welcome back to my channel so in today's video i'm going to be showing you my top 10 favorite pairs of shoes that i currently have in my shoe collection and so before we do get on with the video if i could please ask you to hit that subscribe button please and also can I ask you just to check you are still subscribed if you were previously subscribed because um, unfortunately there's some issues going on with um, YouTube at the minute and for some reason people are getting unsubscribed so if you could just double check to make sure you still are subscribed if you were um, and again as I say if you are not please consider subscribing hit that like button and also um, the notification bell nearly forgot then the notification bell um, so with all that being said let's say let's get on with the video so i'm not going to do these in any particular order i'm just going to pull them up and what i will do is i will i am going to show some cutaways of the shoes a little bit closer up and what i'll do is i'll put the size there and i will also put if i can find the name of the actual shoe so i'm not going to say that going through but the screenshots um oh, sorry the cutaways themselves well, should be able to give you that all those details and anything that I can find links for I will put in the description bar below so I think I've said enough now so let's get on with it <laughs> so as I say I'm not going to go into too much uh, in any kind of order and I'm going to stop clapping because I keep clapping so I'm going to stop clapping so the first pair are these and these are a pair of Chloe sandals um, Oh, I have loved and loved and wanted these sandals forever. Um, I think they're just a really lovely classic pair of shoes. Um, again, for the summer, great with shorts, great with short skirts, great with more or less anything. I just think they're an absolute beautiful pair. And they've got a slight elevation, um, slight elevated heel, so a little wedge, really comfortable um yeah just they're just a great sandal i think they actually do these in a little bit of a longer length so these kind of go up to just above the ankle just below the actual calf but i do think you, you can get these where they tie all the way up to the leg so underneath the actual knee but i kind of thought with this kind of length uh, it'd be a little bit more versatile for me to wear so I absolutely adore these I've not had been able to get much wear out of them just because of the pandemic so um, I've not been out and about as much as I would like so I suppose if I, if I was out you know going out for drinks and you know meeting people for lunch and Sunday afternoons Saturday afternoons I'd wear these with like shorts or like a little skirt so yeah, so that's pair number one. <laughs> so next we have these, and these are a pair of Gucci loafers. Um, so these I picked up a little while ago, um, and I will I will make a note. So the fir the first pair that I showed you from the close sandals, they're pre loved. These are also pre loved. I picked these up on Depop. Um, I got them for a pretty decent price. I can't remember off the top of my, my head how much I paid for them. But these are the ones where you can actually um, wear them as a drop back. Um, I don't think that's something that I would wear them. I'd just wear them as a as a loafer. Um, again, these are another pair that I haven't actually been able to wear that much. Just because after I bought them, I think I bought them around winter time. So towards the towards the end of last year, beginning of this year, and then obviously by, because I was, I was working away in uh, Glasgow at the time, and I didn't wear them to work that much. I, I kind of didn't want to mash up, because I, I walked to work, and it was very wet, and all the rest of it, and I didn't really want to, you know, do that. So I thought, oh, when I get back to Manchester, when I get home, I'll be able to wear them. And then again, what happened? Yay, everyone knows the pandemic happened. So I haven't yet been able to wear these, but, Again, it's a classic loafer and, you, you know, you just can't go really wrong with them. They're just a beautiful, beautiful shoe. The leather's so soft. Um, again, I, I'll put the size while I've got and everything with these on screen so you would have seen that. But, yeah, really nice pair of uh, shoes. So that's my number two um, in the collection, my, my shoe collection. Next, I have these. Oh, my God. Um, so as you can see, they're a little bit dusty because I'm just taking them out of my um, little cupboard where I keep all my shoes. But these are a pair of your Doc Martens. It's even got cat hair on it, Max. Yeah, anyway, um, so these are a lovely pair of Doc Martens. They have like rose gold on this. On oh, they're just really nice. A classic B 
boot again. Um, I do, I've always really wanted a pair and yeah, my other half got me these. I think it was it for Christmas last year. I think he got me these for Christmas. And uh, I've worn these a little bit more than like the other two pairs I've got there. Because I find the easy to wear with jeans. You know, again, I'd wear these with dresses, shorts. Uh, yeah, so you can wear, I think, I think these are easily, you can get away with wearing them in the summer and also in the winter. In the UK, we do have warm days. Um, so obviously on an extra warm day here, I wouldn't potentially wear these, but also we do have a lot of cooler days. So I'm still able to wear these, um, throughout the year. So yeah, do love these, do love these. Next week. So next we have these, oh. These are a vintage pair of Prada shoes. Oh, God. I saw these, I bought these on um, Vestier Collective. Um, I have actually done a previous video about Vestier Collective and buying pre-loved. So I'll leave a, a card for you to go and have a look at that video. It just kind of gives you a bit of detail as to, excuse me, Vestier Collective, kind of things to look out for, that kind of thing. Um, and you know, I, again, I've not had a chance to wear these as yet, just because of not going anywhere. But I just thought they were a beautiful, just a classic shoe. I just thought these would be really nice um, going in towards autumn with like a, you know, again, I wear a lot of a lot of jeans, a lot of denim. Um, but with like, just so it's great, your jeans just kind of scrape grazing your ankle and then just having these and like just, yeah, I just think they're, I think they're really chic. Um, so they're really nice. The only thing I will say is they fit really nicely. It's got like a T bar. I don't know if you can see that. So it's got like a T bar, so it sits really nice. But I, I don't know if it's the whatever this is lined with. It when you walk, it kind of feels like your foot's sticking and you can hear a noise. So whenever we're free and open and we can go into like maybe a um, cobblers or whatever, I'm going to take these and see if there's anything they can do and maybe just reline them. I'm not sure. But again, they were, they're a really decent price. So I was really, really happy with these. But yeah, oh, I, can't, I, can't, I can't wait to wear a lot of these things. Um, but yes, yeah, so that's my number. One, two, three. Is that four? Well, whatever. So yeah, that's them. And then next we have these Castagna wedges. Again, these are a, a class, summer classic. I have, I bought these beginning of the year. Or was it whilst we were on lockdown? Can't quite remember. I think it might be whilst we were on lockdown. Um, but they are just a classic wedge. Again, nice summer shoe with shorts, maxi dresses, short dresses. Oh, they're just, they're just a classic. I will say that they are a little higher than um, I thought. You, you can get the next, wedge down which i did have but i found it was one i didn't particularly love the color i kind of bought them because i just wanted them and you know it goes like oh well if i can't i'll just have them because i want them i didn't end up wearing them and then i thought oh i'll try the higher wedge um but it's just a little bit higher than what i thought and i think they do need some breaking because they are a little bit stiff i just thought they'd be a bit more comfortable but all in all i, I still love the shoe and whenever we can actually go out potentially this will be a next summer <laughs> kind of wear because I can't see it changing anytime soon um but yeah so these are my castagna wedges love them love them oh my god and next <sighs> these oh 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 my god oh <laughs> these are oh god these babies are from converse um so they've got the oh I, i'll show you so you can as you can see they have the converse um all stars on the inside and then they've got this thick wedge now as you can see these have not been worn yet and again i am gutted Oh God, I, I just think that, I, yeah, I, I'm speechless. That's how much I love these shoes. I just think they're absolutely stunning. I just think they're a, a really good take, a nice take on the Converse. You know, you, you, you what they call them? Your plimsolls, like plimsolls. Um, I've got a pair of those in the white leather as well. Just your basic flat pump kind of thing. But these, I just think they're absolutely gorgeous. Um, so again, I think I picked these up whilst we were in, quarantine um haven't had a chance to wear them because 
to be fair, I'm staying as much as I can, so, and then when I am going out, you know, I'm probably just going for a walk um, locally, so, you know, I don't, I'm not looking to get these dirty just to go for a walk down, <laughs> down you know, path kind of thing, so, but yeah, abs I absolutely love, I absolutely love these. Um, I was tempted to also get them in black as well, because I do them in black, and they do them in orange, my daughter's actually got them in orange, and they're, they're really nice in orange, but I just thought the white ones for me would be a little bit more versatile, so... I picked them up, but I, uh, alas, I think these are going to be another pair that I'm not going to be able to wear until <sighs> the next summer. So is that 2021? 20, 2021? I don't. I actually sometimes forget what year I'm in, but I think it's 2021, which is going to be next year. So, so yeah. So they're my um, oh my compass. I love them so much. Yes, 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 yes. So next, I have a pair of my um. My newest in item. I did. I get. I did a video. Um, you would have seen these, uh, or if you're interested in to looking at these in a little bit more detail, I did a video with the Vestia Collective, is which is where I purchased these. So again, the uh, if you're interested, um, you can either check my previous videos, or it would have been in the cards. But I picked up oh these. So these definitely. These are a pair of shoes that I have been after for. Ever. <gasps> oh, look at them, look at them, look at them, look at them, look at them. Look at them. <laughs> so yes, so I picked these up um, about a month ago, a couple of weeks, about a month ago I'd say. Um, and again, just the, the, the classic Manolo. Um, again, I picked these pre-loved, pre not a chance to wear them or break them in. They fit really true to size. Um, I'm just really happy with these. There's not much more to say than, yeah. You know I mean, the... says it all, right? <laughs> they're just the, they're an absolute stunning pair of shoes. And then next, I have these pair of Jimmy Chules. Um, now, these are a, fa a t in my top ten favorite. However, I think I'm potentially going to have to sell these. Uh, I bought these again. Where did I get these from? Yeah, Vestia Collective, again. <laughs> um, so these are a pair of Jimmy Choo. They're a size 41. Um, and I thought that potentially a 41 would do because I know some um, design shoe brands, they you know, run quite small. But I found these actually run a little big. So I think that they, I would say Jimmy Choo are a bit more true to size. Um, so unfortunately, I, I think I am going to have to resell these only because... It's not. I'm not going to be able to wear them because obviously, once I even if I try, they're going to be even. They're going to stretch even more. So therefore, they're going to be even bigger. So I'm probably just going to have to sell these. So I'm pretty gutted. But if anyone is interested, um, just hit me up in the um, comment section or what have you, and we'll you know if, we, if you want, we can arrange that. But they they're just a classic court shoe. They're absolutely beautiful. Really nice leather, pointy toe. It comes in this box and dust bag and everything, but unfortunately, um, I think I am going to try and repurchase these. But now I know what their sizing is like, I'll probably, um, obviously now I know I can just take my true to size, which is a size 40 um, in them. But yeah, so just a beautiful cold shoe, so it's a shame. And that's just got a, a, an insole in it, I was trying it to see if it would help, kind of, um, you know, grips when I'm walking, but it didn't really work, so... That's the nah. Um, next, so these are um, not necessarily summer shoes, but these are, again, it's my top favorite. And these babies, oh God. I love myself an ankle boot. Um, these are a top sh from Topshop. Um, I bought these towards the end of last year, um, just in preparation for kind of autumn, winter. I like to kind of buy um, things if I see them and in sales and things like that not necessarily for, for, for that period in time but I always also think future and these the color was just like oh and then I loved the fact that the um, ankle was like material so it's really soft on your ankle so if I wanted to wear these with a skirt or you know a little bit you know cut off jeans or what have you I thought it, it, your ankle just sits really nicely in there nice size heel chunky heel um, really comfortable and it's got a slight square toe so yeah Ugh. and then it just slips on the inside there I, I just think they're gorgeous beautiful suede so yeah so that's so that's them 
And then last, but by no means least, is these babies. Now these are a pair of boots from Topshop. I've had these for at least, at least five years, at least five years. And I wear them, um, I love the zip detail on the back. I love the actual tortoise like color heel or style heel and then I love the toe it's not a round toe it's not a square toe it's not a point toe it's it's a perfect shape um, I find it doesn't necessarily squeeze toes or yada 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 um, I've had them resold um, only probably this year um, because I felt like the, the top bit was kind of moving and I just kind of wanted to save them because I just don't want them to ever I just don't But yeah, so I got these resold. Um, but I, these are uh, beautiful leather, really soft again. Um, as you can see, yes, they're broken in, but I think they're in really good, really good condition considering I've had them for as long as I have. Um, but yeah, oh yeah, that's that's my that's they're my babies. Uh, these were the ones I'd wear. I'd say more throughout autumn, winter. Um, before I got these ones. Um, so these ones obviously being suede. I might actually start protecting these from now, giving them a bit, of, a bit of a spray every so often to kind of build up the protection. But obviously I wouldn't necessarily wear them that much in the winter or obviously before it starts to get rainy and wet, which in Manchester it's rainy and wet most of the time. Um, but yeah, so that's uh, that's my top 10 favourite shoe, uh, top items in my shoe collection. So. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, I'd be interested to see uh, for you to let me know which ones you liked, which ones you, were your favourite. Um, and also, as I say, if you are interested in those Jimmy Choo um, court shoes, again, just drop me either um, in the comments or you know you can send me an email. My email address is um, down below as well in the description bar. So if you if you do want to, please do. Either way, I'll try and go and um, look out for any kind of communications in that way so that being said i'm gonna stop the video here um i'm also just gonna leave you with my last video that will be at the end if you're interested in checking that out that would be awesome and before you go if you haven't already subscribed please do that would be absolutely awesome and as i say if you were already subscribed please check that you still are and also make sure you hit the notification bell and that like button and that is me done. I am now going to move on with the rest of my day. I have so much stuff to do. I'm just like, holy shit. But yeah, I'm going to crack on with that. Uh, and again, I hope you enjoyed the video. And I hopefully will see you in my next one. Bye-bye.